knocked away. Randall with a steal for the finish. And it's Randall with the jam. A stunning full court play by Randall, giving his all to protect the fast break and get to the bucket. The Celtics with the lead. We've got two conference rivals squaring off tonight, Grant. I'm sure both teams have been eagerly looking forward to this one. Well, we always enjoy these rivalry matchups. I mean, facing a rival you've been battling in the rankings is always rewarding. And as a player, you get fired up and are ready to do whatever it takes to get the win. And here's the starting group for the New York Knicks. At forward, it's Barrett and Randall. Then there's Jalen Brunson. Then there's Mitchell Robinson. And it's Grimes in at the two. Now, what hard work from Tatum inside. Doing what it takes to find his shot. Brunson on the drive. Here's Randall. Yes. And a nice Ooh, assist from Brunson. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He will gladly take those. Now here's Brown. Back to Porzingis. Outside, Brown. Just five to shoot. Back to Porzingis. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And early in his career, Porzingis was a shot creator. You think he can get back to that grand? You know, B.A., yeah. In Dallas, his role was more catch and shoot. So it'll be interesting to see in a different system how active a role KP can fill, especially going to work inside. That free throw good from Porzingis. Standing at 7-3. We have never seen a player quite like Chris Stapp's Porzingis. A fantastic shooter, a solid ball handler. What a talent. Both free throws good from Porzingis. And RJ, you look at the road the Celtics had to the finals last year. Man, that's as tough as it gets. B.A., when I tell you going through Durant and then Giannis, and then you saw the way that the Heat pushed them, and then you see the Warriors in the finals as a reward, that is as tough of a road as you will ever find. And I don't see anything phasing this team now, B.A. Fantastic replay we just saw of the Mobile One drive. They're yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. Outside, Brown. Count it. Muscling that one in. JB is a strong individual. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. Brunson against Brogdon. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. When you're trying to stop a guy like this, you have to match his intensity level. And the Celtics in possession here. Pass to Brown. Porzingis with it. The shot that time not on target. For New York, they've gone three of three so far from the floor. Barrett against Tatum. Here's Grimes. Can't get the go-ahead bucket. The Celtics have gone two of three from the floor. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Jason Tatum still so young. His game still evolving. Over the last couple years, he's been getting to the line more and more. And that's huge. Jason, Jason Tatum, Tatum seeing his free throw attempts increase. What's that tell you, Richard? Well, it just tells me that he's playing with more intensity, but he's also playing smarter. Jason's using his athleticism to force the issue. Get to the easy points at the line. That's what your thoughts are. And that one falls for Tatum. Now look, from the moment he stepped into this league, Jason Tatum has been a difference maker. Every team in the league is looking for guys like him. Long, athletic, and most importantly, winners. Good on both. And guys, talk about silencing the critics. 
Tatum made first team all NBA last year and led the Celtics to their first finals appearance in over a decade. Brunson with it. Guarded now by Williams. Robinson. Yes. Mitchell and a Robinson. nice assist from Brunson. Assist from Jalen Brunson. Now Brogdon. Outside, Brown. Tatum from long range. The Knicks with the rebound. You know, probably the biggest shift for Tatum is advancement at the defensive end, Grant. Oh, no question, B.A. And that's imperative at the small forward position. Think about it. You have guys like LeBron, Kawhi, KD. Now Jason Tatum is in that elite two-way group as well. And you have to put Jimmy Butler in there as well. New York has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Forcing us against Brunson. Oh, no good. Had a chance to take the lead. Outside, Brown. The three. Doesn't go that time. New York goes the other way with it. Here's Barrett in the air. The rebound by Jason Tatum. Now look, this won't go down as a block, but the D made him change his shot, and that was enough. Brogdon with the bucket. Not just being selfish, but also smart with the ball. Brown is able to find the best guy for the right shot. Now a timeout called by New York. Well, you have to be impressed with the constant growth we're seeing from Jalen Brown. He's put in a lot of work to become an all-star player. And the Knicks making a change here. DiVincenzo's checked in. New York trailing. And at this point for Brown, do you think he's realized his full potential, Richard? No, I don't even think so. Especially when you look at his work ethic. He puts in so much time that I think he can reach another level. He's still young and eager to learn. If I were to put it in 2K terms, I think he could get up to about a 94-95 overall. So it's Boston now. The Knicks making their last shot. There's Tatum with the three. Another miss. He's one for four from the field. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. And a foul Celtics called foul. on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Knicks. Dante DiVincenzo at the line for two. That one falls. That puts him up one point in the game now. Both free throws good from DiVincenzo. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the stripe. I hope I didn't jinx him. Outside Brogdon. Pass to Porzingis. Back to Brogdon. From deep. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. It'll be New York's ball. New York ball. The Knicks have gone five of nine from the floor. Here's Brunson. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It goes on Malcolm Brogdon. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for New York. Taking two shots. That free throw good from Brunson. And Jalen Brunson. He's a great option on the floor, Grant. <laughs> yes, he is. Can attack from different levels of the floor. Solid shooting threat from outside. And gives you another playmaker to initiate the offense. It's both from the stripe. Brogdon with the ball. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. 
Tatum passes to Williams. Outside Tatum. Beyond the arc. Kept alive by Boston. Porzingis for three. Tries yet again. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Brunson passes to Randall. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Assisted. Yeah, never a bad idea to have Randall with the ball. Just a great passing forward. Pass to Williams. Brown against Steven Chenzo. Outside, Brown. Now Porzingis. Six to shoot. No good. Had a chance to end the run there. Here's Brunson. No luck on that one. So the Celtics will take it the other way. Robinson against Brogdon. And he drops in the layup off the glass. The offensive IQ Brogdon has is fantastic. A creative score in close. Brunson against Brogdon. Oh, the double clutch. Boston with a rebound. I thought he had that all sewn up, but somehow the defense just threw him off. Tatum passes to Brown. And it's all from three-point range. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. And Robert Williams picks up the foul. Robert, That's his first foul. So Boston going with almost an entire new group here. Warford, he's checked in for Williams. Hauser comes in for Porzingis. White, he's checked in for Brown. And it's Benton in for Malcolm Brogdon. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Grimes is checked in. It's great to see a fantastic block on replay once again. Yeah, what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Now here's Brunson. He's got six. And the call will be against Jason Tatum. That's his first foul. Fourth team foul. Outside Brunson. From downtown. Hits the trifecta. Brunson's got nine. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Pass to Hauser. Here's Benton. Brunson defending. To the left side wing. Horford for three. It's hauled in by Robinson. And the defense dodged one right there. Not the guy you want to leave open. Brunson passes to Randall. Nice D from Horford. Boston trailing. Here's Benton. Pass to Tatum. Puts up a three. Sinks the tray. He's got seven. An accurate shooter from distance. Tatum's teammates want him to keep looking to pull the trigger. Brunson with it. Now Horford defending. Robinson. The basket drops. And he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Shooting for New York. Mitchell Robinson shooting one. Here are the Celtics with the ball. They trail by seven. Pass to Ben. Horford powers it home. Look at Horford just rocketing off the floor. Putting the defense on notice with a big dunk. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Horford against Brunson. Outside Barrett. The three ball. Offensive board. Randall pass to Robinson. That's in. Coming off an assist from Randall. And the Knicks lead by seven. That's why you keep your head up. If the assist is there, you can pounce. And Horford powers it home. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. And that can be the spark they need to make a little run as they try to even this thing up. Here's Tatum. The Knicks making their last shot. 
And there's the foul. It'll go on Julius Randle. That's foul number two for him. Roby, he's checked in for Julius Randle. Checking in for the Knicks. New York on D. Seven point differential. Here's Benton. Brunson defending. Benton can't get it to go. New York has gone one of four from deep. Barrett against Tatum. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Second that one on Tatum. You know, sometimes we forget how young some of these guys are. Take R.J. Barrett, making his NBA debut at 19, still a few years away from hitting his prime. That free throw, no good. Hardenstein, he's checked in for New York. He sinks the second. There's 53 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Pass to Horford. The kick to Tatum. That one is off. Good work defensively by Robinson. Here's Grimes. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. Left side Tatum. Knocks down the step back J. It is clear that Tatum loves the mid-range, excels at recognizing when to shoot from there. Outside Brunson. Pass to Grimes. Outside Brunson. Just three on the clock. It'll count. The baskets were coming early and often in the first quarter. Picks out in front. They're up by six. And we'll bring you the start of quarter number two when we return. All right, before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Knicks? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. It's been a group effort, and that's what it takes to play the kind of defense that they've played. Great showing from them. So on the floor for New York. At the four and the five, it's Randall and Robinson. Then it's R.J. Barrett. Then there's Jalen Brunson. And it's Grimes in at the two. Just three to shoot. The three, Barrett. The shot, no good. And the Celtics going the other way now. And here's Brown for three. And again, Boston with the triple. A dangerous shooter from all areas. Brown's eyes get real big when he shoots these corner threes. Brunson against Brogdon. And here's Brunson. The three. The rebound, Celtics. Tatum's got four rebounds now. Fires it from 18. And the Celtics tack on two more. No, this man Tatum can strike so quickly. He can just stop, pop, and pull up on a dime. Brunson passes to Randall. And it's Randall with the jam. And just shredding apart the defense with his passing. He's helping to pace this offense so well. He's locked in with his teammates right now, setting guys up in perfect position. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Thank you very much, Brian. Well, Jalen Brown has been vocal when it comes to social justice. He said, quote, people need to step up and use their platform. Keep conversations alive and show people that you care. Where your influence is biggest, try to leverage it. Brian, he knows his stuff. Stand up. Allie, thanks. Now here's Brunson. He's got nine. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they will count the bucket. I mean, he had the right idea, but his timing was just a little off, and it resulted in a goaltend. The Knicks make it a switch here. Quickly's checked in. And the free throw, no good. Well, with roster sizes expanding and the addition of two-way contracts, 
the NBA has a hundred more roster spots than around 12 years ago. RJ, how's that changed things? Well, you just need so much more scouting and development. And you look at the different teams around this league, the ones that have continued success are the ones that are always able to find those diamonds in the rough. It's easy to get somebody good with a top five pick. Show me a team that can find somebody with the 30th or 35th pick. Three points. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. Now here's Brown. He's got five. Pass to Brogdon. Oh, Robinson with a block. And it's going to be out of bounds. Boston will have another go. The Celtics making a switch here. Wall. Clock at two. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. You can tell Brogdon is a savvy shooter. Getting it off and getting the foul call. Sims, he's checked in for Robinson. Brogdon. And so Brogdon nails both of them. Here's quickly. Three points spread on the scoreboard. Inside. Here's Sims. Pass to Barrett. Randall inside, working on Porzingis, and Randall, Randall, and Randall the, the bucket on the assist by Barrett. Letting Randall get inside with the ball was a bad Hello. mistake. His finishing Hello. ability got him to the bucket. And the Celtics call time here. Martinstein, he's checked in for New York. Martinstein. The Celtics have gotten five of their first six attempts to fall in the second. Outside, Brown. Pass to Jay. Back to Brown. And the seven-footer falls. Brown's got five points now in the quarter. Brown very confident in that jumper of his. Quickly against Brogdon. Arkenstein. And he buries his first look. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. To the left wing. Brown finds Brogdon. Free throw line jumper. And it's Boston scoring again. Love seeing Brogdon look for his offense. A dangerous shooter from these in-between spots. Quickly against Brogdon. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the point. Line for the Knicks. Emmanuel quickly taking two shots. And he makes a first. also good so he hits both free throws here's Brogdon give him eight points now out to the right wing Randall pulls down the board the Knicks have gone four for seven in the second quarter for three Barrett buries it from three Barrett's got six here in the quarter when he has enough space, he's more than comfortable letting it fly from outside. It's Brown on the wing. He's got seven. Here's Porzingis. The offensive rebound. Pass to Jay. New York foul. Isaiah Hartenstein. First personal foul. Third team foul. Here's Jay. Second chance shot. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. They'll pin the...
that one on Julius Randle. Fourth team foul. At the line, Walsh. At the line for two shots. The first free throw is good. RJ, you were in the middle of a few trades in your career, to put it lightly. What's that like as a player to get moved around so much? Thanks for bringing that up so sweetly, Brian. I appreciate <laughs> that. Look, there's pros and cons to this. It's nice to know that another organization wants you for whatever reason, but it's also tough to leave an organization that you had a connection to, the fan base. But eventually, you figure it out. Now here's Barrett. Nine points in the game. Here's Hartenstein. With the second effort, goes back up. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. The line for the Knicks. R.J. Barrett at the line for one. No good on that one. The Celtics have gone 7 for 11 in the second quarter. Here's Brown. Can't hit from in close. New York has gone 2 of 5 from distance here in the second quarter. Out to the wing. Here's Roby. That one doesn't drop. Horford with some nice D. Outside, Brown. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. So hard to guard him without fouling. Sometimes Brown doesn't mind getting a little contact on his way up. At the line, Jalen Brown. At the line for two shots. Free throw good. Brown. And we've watched Brown blossom into a talented scorer, someone who's capable of shouldering that entire offensive load. White, he's checked in for Boston. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Hart's checked in for Grimes. And both free throws good for Brown. The Knicks with the lead. It's Hart on the wing, defended by Brown. Here's quickly. And the layup is good off the glass. Obviously, this guy has a talent for scoring. Able to problem solve for whatever the defense tosses at him. Going all in. That was the 2K drive. Well worth a second look. And I love the way he played downhill on that drive. Love the attack mentality in a close game. Unable to get that one. New York goes the other way with it. And Josh Hart listed at 6'5". But he plays much bigger than that. He does. I mean, just so strong on defense in the post, B.A. Often will guard up a position, and his rebounding numbers show he plays well above his list of height. Oh, and there's the whistle. the shot so two free throws for him coming up love the aggression from brown a tough cover for any defender out there at the line for your Celtics, jalen brown at the line for two the first one falls both teams deciding to change it up And both free throws good for Brown. Now here's quickly. It's Barrett on the wing. Here's Hardenstein. Here's Sims. And it's going to be out of bounds. New York will have New another York go. Ball. Barrett finds Hart. Here's Sims. Well, it was only a matter of time before they finally get the bucket. 
Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. Yeah, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say they need to emphasize rebounding going forward. Here's Benton. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Five to shoot. Hart with the defensive effort. That's a miss you can live with. He did what he could to get something close to the basket. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Barrett. Boston trailing. Here's White. Blocked! Barrett against Brown. And there's Barrett on the assist by Quickly. Barrett's got 10 points in the quarter. Just outstanding distribution. This is the kind of team chemistry that you love to see. Outside, Brown. Pass to Benton. Kick out to Brown. Fires from deep. It's rebounded by New York. It's Barrett on the wing. Here's Hartenstein. Remaining in the first half. Two minutes. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. That's a very avoidable turnover. You've got to focus on the details. Jason Tatum, he's checked in for Jalen Brown. The Celtics have gotten 7 of 16 shots to go in the second. White on the wing. Outside Tatum. Pass to Benton. Launches it. Misses again. Now 0 for 3. And the Knicks shooting a solid 50% throughout the second. White against Hart. Barrett with it. Back to Hart. Shot clock at six. No good on the three. Boston's gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. Pass to Hauser. There's Tatum with the three. Nails it from beyond the arc. Tatum's got ten points now, just in this quarter. I love seeing Tatum exhibit the passion that he has shown us tonight. Such a motivated performance by him. And it's all tied up. Tatum's got 21 points in the game. He is getting everything he wants. The defense is seemingly powerless to slow him down. It's sad. Barrett passes to quickly. Here's Hardenstein. Warford covering. And again, the Knicks missing. More often than not, he'll cash it in from that area. The defense might have done just enough to bother him. Tatum from long range. Hartenstein pulls it in. Hartenstein's got four rebounds in the game. On the wing quickly. Outside Barrett. Shoots over Tatum. Off the left rim and out. Normally he drains that. He gets it off. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And so it's Jason Tatum making highlights for Boston. He's been effective on offense, racking up 21 points so far in this contest. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. There was no stopping Jason Tatum in the first half. He had 21 points, 5 rebounds, and 1 steal. He's been in the midst of some incredible games lately, and tonight, he's got it going again. And taking a look at the Celtics, Kenny, what did you see out there? Well, first and foremost, you got to take care of the basket. And that means playing with force, making good decisions, and not giving away any possessions. They did a great job of that in the first half. And Shaq. What are your thoughts on New York? Well, I thought the one bright spot was the effort on the glass. Several times when momentum was sliding, getting the time to rebound really lifted them. The strong work on the glass is key because that's how you string together a series of big stops. Based on how close of a game we've seen so far. And you know, Jason Tatum, he's been really making it happen, guys. 
through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. If they don't change their approach in the second half, eh, let's just say his success will continue. RJ Brown and Tatum are the explosive Three. wing pair. Kristaps Porzingis out there with Robert Williams. And it's Brogdon in at the one. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, guys, the Celtics are handing the keys to the two Jays, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. There have been growing pains, and even some question if the pair could coexist. But Brown said, quote, the adversity will help us grow. As long as I'm on the same page with him and he's on the same page with me, we're all good. Brian? Figuring it out, Allie. Thank you. And here are the Knicks now. Following the bucket by the Celtics. Kicks it out to Barrett. Takes a three. It's not going to go for him. And they get it back. Robinson finds Barrett. Another shot. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Robert Williams picks up one. First team foul. Shooting for New York. R.J. Barrett. The line for two. Free throw drops for Barrett. Barrett drops them both. The Celtics shooting around 41%. Pass to Porzingis. Back to Brogdon. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Some solid defense from Brunson. New York has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Barrett passes to Brunson. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Jacks up a three. Fires in the triple. Tatum's got 24 points. Ooh, how about that extended range from Tatum? That's an absolute bummer. Brunson passes to Robinson. And that one's good. Oh, he really fought for that one. Battling through contact to complete the play. At the line for the Knicks. Mitchell Robinson, one shot. And that one misses. For Boston, they've got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Down low. Here's Porzingis. It counts! And the foul! It's going to go on Mitchell Robinson. And this is what they want to see from Porzingis. Taking contact and completing the play. First team foul. And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. Here's Brunson. He's got nine. And we're just about two minutes into the final half of play now. Outside Barrett. Pass to Grimes. Now here's Brunson. Guarded by Brogdon. Clock at four. From deep three-point range. And they recover it. Robinson passes to Randall. Brunson against Brogdon. Runs it up top. Fires the three. Knicks keep it alive. Pass to Barrett. To the inside. And stolen by Williams. Brown inside. No good with a layup. New York trailing. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Brunson against Porzingis. Outside Brunson. Three-pointer. Nails it from three. Brunson's got 12 points. Here in the second half, these teams still neck and neck. I really like how each team is matching the other's intensity. Here's Brogdon. Good on the 13-footer. Found some space to get off the mid-range, and he'll do damage from there if you let him. Brunson against Brogdon. 
And Brunson, here we go. And that one is hammered home. And you have to love it. The floor general taking things into his own hands. Just the aggression they're looking for, man. No doubt. That's the kind of play that can energize the whole team. And they will take it in a close game like this. Got to find easier shots when you're already struggling. That's not going to get it. And for Julius Randle, back in 2014, a nightmare start to his career, Chris. Oh, man, so sad. I mean, Julius breaking his leg just 14 minutes into his NBA debut. A serious injury that required him to miss his entire rookie season. But give Randle credit for coming back and carving out a great career. Here's Porzingis following the bucket by the Knicks. Good work defensively by Robinson. Here's Barrett. And it's Jason Tatum with a rebound. Tatum's got six rebounds here tonight. And the foul called on R.J. Barrett. That's foul number two for him. So both teams making some changes here. The Celtics have gone four of eight in the third. Brogdon, the pass to Brown. Over to the left wing. Here's Jay. Randall pulls down the board. Randall's got his fifth rebound in this one. The Knicks have gotten five of ten shots to go. Pass to Grimes. Now here's Randall. Another basket. He's now six for seven in the contest. You like how Randall plays with authority. He doesn't let things like contact slow him down. Porzingis with it. Robinson defending. Porzingis passes to Tatum. Yes! And the foul! Sounds good. Jalen Brunson picks one up. Great recognition of the mismatch of losing the Jalen Brunson. The Celtics making a switch here. White's checked in. Hart's checked in for New York. McBride comes in for Brunson. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Knicks. For New York, they've got 6 of 11 attempts to fall so far in the third. Here's McBride, guarded by Brogdon. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. There's no debate there. He got him. Third team foul. Shooting for New York. Miles McBride taking two shots. That one misses. And some changes here for the Celtics. Orford, he's checked in for Jason Tatum. And it's Ben in for Brogdon. Good on the second one. Boston trailing. Pass to Horford. Here's Ben. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Here's Porzingis. Plenty of space. No good. A bit long that time. Surprising he didn't bury that, but hey, it happens sometimes. Outside Hart. Inside. Randall. And the layup falls. Randall. Randall's got 14 points for the game. On either side of the pick and roll, Randall is a problem. That was another look at our Mobile One drive of the game just a moment ago. Yeah, and with a finish like that, you know he's looking to extend the lead and put this game out of reach. To the wing on the left. Outside White. Out to Horford. Back to White. Shot clock at three. Yes! Great play by Horford to set him up. Yeah, the savvy of Horford on display. Just tremendous passing as a big. Here's McBride. Right side Hart, down low. And stolen by Porzingis. Here's Jay. He's covered by Hart. And that one's good. Jay. <laughs> An aggressive move. Takes it strong, and there's no help defensively. Horford against Randall. Boston foul. Wall. Hauser, he's checked in for Boston. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Quickly is checked in for McBride. 
Now quickly. Pass to Hart. Six on the shot clock. New York needs to get one up quick. The timer ticks. Randall, good. And every season, Randall seems to shoulder more of the offensive load. It's what allows him to dominate sometimes. And here's Horford. Robinson defending. White for three. Quickly with a rebound. The Knicks have gone 8 of 13 in the second half. Back to Randall. The shot. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Inside, you have to try something to stop Randall. But he gets physical right back and draws a good shooting foul. Julius Randall, two shots. And he drops the first. Certain guys can remake their games to fit the times. Randall's worked on his right hand and his jump shooting. He's a much more versatile threat now at the offensive end. Hardenstein, he's checked in for Robinson. And that's good as he hits both shots. The Celtics have gotten 7 of 14 attempts to fall in the half. Boston. And the Celtics call time here. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. I'm sure Coach is going to give them an earful about that. He can't be happy with that soft interior D. And the Knicks making a change here. Sims is checked in. And so it's Boston with it. They trail by six. Porzingis finds Tatum. White for three. Drains the triple. White's got five points. Impressive ball handling from Tatum. Attracts the other team's focus and then finds the open man. Pass to Grimes. Here's Hardenstein. And stolen by Porzingis. White with it. Now quickly defending. He got a piece of it. Minute 32 left to play in the third quarter here. Here's Grimes. Hounded by Tatum. Just five on the clock. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. Got to be careful shooting around Porzingis. His length is so capable of erasing shots. It's rebounded by New York. Hardenstein's got five rebounds in the game. Tatum against Hart. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That's on Al Horford. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. Shooting for New York, Josh Hart at the line for two. And the first one at the line is good. Brogdon's checked in for Banton. And both free throws good for Hart. Boston's gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Pass to White. On the wing, Tatum. And here's Porzingis. Outside White. Horford outside. Releases. He hits it just before the shot clock expires. Horford's got his third bucket of the night. Shot and game clock separated by five. It's quickly with a drive. And he gets it to go. And the Knicks lead by five.
and he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, you can give up some size, but that shows you how fearless he is, willing to attack the basket no matter who is in front of him. Next foul, Josh Hart. First personal foul, fourth team foul. At the line, Jason Tatum. At the line for two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And so Tatum nails both of them. Quickly with the ball. From outside the arc. Can't connect. And we've just finished the third quarter. What a tight game we've got going. It's the Knicks. Leading by three. Again, don't go away. We'll be back in a few moments. It'll be the fourth quarter of basketball coming up next. All right, let's take a look at our assist to the game presented by State Farm. You talk about painting a magnificent picture with that, Don. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. A lot of times a spectacular pass is more impressive than a spectacular shot. This is one of those times. Here we go. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. And on the floor for New York here in the fourth. They've got Josh Hart. Emmanuel quickly is out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Grimes in at the small forward position. Now here's Porzingis. Shot clock at five. That one drops for him. And after adding 16 pounds of muscle during the 2019 offseason, Porzingis handles contact so much better. Great finish inside. And no lack of aggression on that move. Good for the 2K drive. Oh, a drive like that is the kind of play that can shift the entire outcome of a close game like this one. Can't ask for a better look with the game in the balance. Pass to Porzingis. It's Brown on the wing. DiVincenzo with the steal. One minute in now in the fourth quarter. Basket counts. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. Also relying on his skill there. That's a nice move against Lane. Julius Randle's checked in for Sims. throw no good from DiVincenzo Austin trailing pass to Brown fourth quarter still young just over a minute play and, and you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look and here's quickly here's Grimes launches a three Called in by Brown. That was a good possession. They got a clean look. The shot just didn't fall. Got a piece of it. DiVincenzo with a steal. Pass to Hart. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Brogdon with the ball. Unloads from 13. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. He gets a lot of his points on catch-and-shoot jumpers. Porzingis is always ready to let it fly if he's got the room. Time called here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. They're rushing. Hardenstein. He's checked in for Randall. Fournier comes in for DiVincenzo. And it's Jalen Brunson in for quickly. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. 
Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Tom Thibodeau coaching his team during that last break. He told them to be more careful about their selections, saying, quote, don't force it at the arc. If it's not a good look, don't risk it. Move the ball, attack inside. Use your options. Appreciate the report, Allie. And Boston has possession. After the basket by New York. Here's Brown. And the Celtics tack on two more. Night in, night out. Brown just makes plays. Brunson against Brogdon. Brunson up top to the paint. Hartenstein. They get the rebound. The kick out to Fournier. To the middle. Brockton against Brunson. Down to five on the shot clock. To the inside. And stolen by Williams. Brown finds Brogdon. And Brogdon with the stun. You have to respect the intelligence. Brogdon knows where to get to in the open floor. Here's Brunson. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for New York, Jalen Johnson. Good on that one. Randall, he's checked in for New York. DiVincenzo comes in for Grimes. And the second free throw is good. The Celtics have gotten four or five attempts to fall so far in the fourth. Pass to Williams. Here's Brown. No good. New York goes the other way with it. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. Brunson against Brogdon. Clock at six. Pass to Brunson. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It goes on Malcolm Brogdon. Man, the defender really went after him. Jalen Brunson, two shots. throw good from Brunson both free throws good from Brunson we played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter left side Brogdon and the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Third personal foul. First team foul. At the line, Malcolm Brogdon. At the line for two shots. And that one falls for Brogdon. He gets them both. The Knicks have got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Pass to Hartenstein. 19 footer. And again, the Knicks missing. Oh man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. Yeah, <laughs> right now, he's just in his own head. Not much you can do to try and push through. <laughs> The game is this close. You have to go all out. He certainly understands his role, huh? When the shot goes up, just crashes the offensive glass. 
He's just giving them everything he has. It's why his teammates appreciate and enjoy playing with him. Randall can't hit. The Celtics have gotten five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. DiVincenzo against Brown. Right side, Williams. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. And Brown's got assist number five here tonight. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. One of the stories here, Jason Tatum. Man, is he getting it done today? They have to come up with a new wrinkle defensively because he is killing them from deep. For the Knicks, Robinson, he's checked in for Hartenstein. And Barrett subbed in for Fournier. New York trailing. Brunson on the drive. For three, Barrett. The rebound, Celtics. It's a three-on-three three fast break. Here's Porzingis. The Knicks with the rebound. Robinson's got nine rebounds now. New York has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Down low. Brown with the steal. And Tatum, here we go. And finished off by Tatum. The quicks of Tatum on display. Jason has a devastating first step, man. He can just blow by you so easy. Brunson passes to Randall to stop the run. Now here's DiVincenzo. Outside Brunson. And again, the Knicks missing. The Celtics have gotten 7 of 12 shots to drop in this fourth quarter. Knocked away. Randall with a steal. For the finish. And it's Randall with the jam. A stunning full court play by Randall, giving his all to protect the fast break and get to the bucket. The Celtics with the lead. Pass to Brown. On the wing, Tatum. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Knicks. A sloppy turnover. When you're not locked in, you pay the price. And that's how you defend. Glad we had a chance to see a replay of that block again. What a powerful rejection. He's not wanting them to get an advantage in this competitive game. New York shooting at a 48% clip from the floor. Brunson against Brogdon. Brunson passes to Robinson. Randall with it. Kicks it out to Barrett. Back to Randall. Over Williams. Rebound Boston. Tatum's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Brown finds Brogdon. Over Randall. It's hauled in by Robinson. Robinson's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Brunson against Brogdon. Brunson passes to DiVincenzo. There's the triple. The rebound by Jason Tatum. Tatum's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Here's Brown. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. There you go, J.B. I love his confidence. One of his strongest traits. Grimes, he's checked in for New York. The Knicks shooting at 31% here in this fourth quarter. Brockton against Brunson. Pass to Randall, and it's Randall with the jam. Oh, a rugged competitor. Randall's teammates trust his ability to make plays in big moments. And Williams punches it home. Both teams trying to impose their will right now. Yeah, and the slams just keep getting better and better. Outside Brunson. Six to shoot. It's Barrett on the wing. Pass to Randall. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Randall's got six here in the corner. Two minutes remaining in the game. Brockton, the pass to Porzingis. 
Basket is good on the assist from Brogdon. Brogdon's got his fourth assist in this one. Oh, my. Huge play from Pazingas. A testament to the competitiveness that he plays with. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. Here's Tatum. The Knicks making their last shot. There's the three. Can't hit that one. New York has got nothing to fall from outside the arc here in the fourth. 0 for 4. Brunson against Brockton. Pass to Barrett. To tie it up. That's good. That's now his seventh made field goal in 15 tries. And the defense is looking almost lost on the perimeter. That opens up a quality three-point shot, and he delivers. Big three right there, especially at this point in the game. And count it. The shot is good, and he'll go to the line. And if anybody didn't know, Jason Tatum has that killer instinct just coming up in a big way. Horford, he's checked in for Chris Stops for Zingas. New York has gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. Outside Barrett. Shoots over Tatum. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And, and you have to try to make something happen. They have to be aggressive at this point, even if it's risking a foul. RJ Barrett at the line for two. the first one and that narrows the gap to one the Celtics making a switch here or Zingas has checked in and Barrett drops them both in a tight game he is exactly who you wanted at the line and Boston calls time here Let's take a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Julius Randle. It's almost beyond belief what he's done in this game. He's been impossible to cool off, getting just about everything he looks at. It doesn't matter who's guarding him. He's had an answer for just about everyone. DiVincenzo, he's checked in for New York, quickly comes in for Brunson. To the paint. Here's Brogdon. They kick it out to Porzingis. It's hauled in by Robinson. New York with the ball. Thirty-two seconds left in the game. Now here's quickly. Shot clock at six. Inside. Count it. Talk about stepping up in a big way. And Boston calls time here. They're down by two. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Guys, what do you think? A chance to tie it up here. And you also have to wonder if they'll try for a three. But they'll probably try for a two, but if something opens up outside, I doubt that they will hesitate to take it. Tatum. Oh, he missed it! Right side, Williams. Pass to Tatum. Count it! And Tatum's teammates love the hustle. They appreciate him going hard on the offensive glass. Really getting it done. Now a timeout called by New York. It's time for teachers. Up and stand up and make some noise. 
walking into the next. Julius Rambo, Dante DiVincenzo. There's six Jaylen seconds left Anderson. in the fourth quarter. Barrett can't hit. is ended and we are headed to overtime we'll get right back to the action when we return overtime for something entertainment go so it's boston now brown and tatum with the explosive wing pair robert williams out there with Kristaps porzingis and it's brogdon in at the point back to tatum And he banks in the layup. Tatum's got 37. How about the balance from Tatum? Absorbing the contact. It just doesn't matter. He takes it like a champ. New York trailing. Here's Brunson. There's the drive. Good work defensively by Brogdon. And here are the Celtics to the middle. Tatum hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Tatum's got four points now in the quarter. And for the Knicks, they're shooting at 49% so far in the game. Brunson on the drive. And the basket is good. If the defense lets him inside, he will not hesitate. He'll gladly drop that thing right in the cup. Pass to Brown. On the wing, Tatum. Outside, Brown. Porzingis for three. Drops in the three. And the Celtics lead by five. Few bigs stretch the floor like Porzingis. He can be just deadly from the arc. Here's Brunson. Ooh, a two-handed power slam. And you have to love it. The floor general taking things into his own hands. Just the aggression they're looking for, man. No doubt. That's the kind of play that can energize the whole team, and they will take it in a close game like this. Charity stripe shot. Again, the Celtics good for two more. The mid-range is not an issue for Brown, and it's just another weapon in his arsenal now. Brunson passes to Randall to the wing, right side. Here's Grimes. They get it back. Oh, a dunk and a foul! A powerhouse move! He's got a chance for one more at the line. Kristaps Porzingis picks one up. Julius Randall at the one for one. Free throw, no good. The Celtics have gone a perfect four for four to begin this OT session. Brown can't hit. The Knicks have gotten three of five attempts to go as we play here in this OT period. Brunson on the drive. And he gets the bucket. And it's now only a one-point Boston lead. Hey, clashes with the larger defender and makes maybe the biggest shot of the game. He loved the relentlessness. Wasn't going to give up a chance for a big play. And down it goes. Two points. Tatum's got 41. I do not care what kind of game he is having. In these moments, Tatum is just different. Brunson passes to Robinson. And a big finish by Robinson. It's hard trying to prevent Tatum from converting. Runs it against Williams. The three, Barrett. He can't get that one to fall. And Boston going the other way now. And here's Brown for three. It's rebounded by New York. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. And here's Brunson from the arc. 
Williams grabs the board. Oh, lots of drama in this game so far. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't be surprised if it comes down to the final buzzer. Huge shot for Brogdon when they need it most. Team's level player that reliably knocks it down. New York go for the Knicks. Roby comes in for Barrett. And it's Steven Genzo in for Grimes. Brogdon against Brunson. Pass to Robinson. Outside Brunson. For three. The rebound by Jason Tatum. And that's an intentional foul. Mitchell Robinson. Fourth personal foul. First team foul. Here's Brogdon. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Jalen Brunson. Second personal foul. Second team foul. At the line. First free throw is good. And that increases the lead to six. And he hits both free throws here. And it's a seven-point game. He knows how important it is converting at the line and building up this lead. The three, DiVincenzo. And again, the Knicks missing. This OT has been somewhat lackluster, mainly because both teams are Knicks clearly foul. exhausted. And Dante, Dante DiVincenzo, DiVincenzo is going to pick up the foul. So that'll foul. be a second foul First of the game. Foul. We're in the bonus. We'll go to the line to shoot two. Line for your Celtics. Jalen Brown. So the first one drops. And that stretches their lead to eight. Second one is good. Getting both at the line. And it's a nine-point game here. Cool, calm, and collected. Say that three times fast. He makes them all and puts this game away. Now a timeout. Two on the court. Here's DiVincenzo. The shot to stop the run. Randall, good. Julius An Randall. intense player on the boards. Love seeing Randall get after it and punish the opposition. They've been a different squad here in Knicks overtime. Foul. I'm just not seeing Julius the same Randall. energy level. Yeah, no choice but to foul in that situation. Although, that's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. Jason Tatum at the line for two shots. And so he drops them both. And it's a nine-point game here. This OT has been somewhat lackluster, mainly because both teams are clearly exhausted. And so it's Boston with the W. Things looked a little uneven for them down the stretch, but in overtime, they took control. NBA, I don't think they expected this one to be so hard fought. But when they went into overtime, they really poured the gas on the fire. Thank you all. And that'll wrap it up, folks. This is Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching. So long, everyone.